So many financial advisors start out being trained as salespeople, not really financial planners. Now some evolve to be able to offer service over sales, so it's important to determine if your advisor is truly offering service and not just selling products. My guest is Chris Longworth. Chris is also a National Certified Financial Education Instructor. Uh, Chris, welcome back. So how does a consumer know the difference between sales and service? Scott, that's a great question, and this is where Again, it, it, a little bit of education will help that determine what is happening at the moment that it is taking place. And so having some basic understanding that a client can then draw upon, simple truth and facts, not hype and fiction of the marketplace, but truth and facts of how academically it's suggested one should structure yourself. Having these facts in place, then when you're talking to an advisor or a salesperson, you'll be able to glean out the good parts of the information. You'll know whether they're trying to just sell you product or whether they're actually formulating a well-built plan that actually has some certainty about it. So then talk about your approach. So the whole process, Scott, starts with the simple idea that I must understand their expectations. I must know what they expect out of their retirement savings. Some folks say that they want to buy the house. Some folks say they want to buy a car, boat, go on a world tour. Many of them, the majority, say they want to live a comfortable life. They want their quality of life to simply continue on as it is today. That's what we call the maintenance of quality of life. Having that piece be the focal point is most critical. There are only very few, very few strategies that will facilitate that piece with a guarantee of income that will never fail and also give you the certainty of steady growth along the way. It's a unique formula, it's, it's not complicated, but it is a, a, a process that one has to go through to really discover the need and then match the financial strategy with that expectation so that they perfectly line up. Because when the product matches the expectation, that's when the magic can happen. Finally, what questions should consumers be asking their advisors these days? And there again, that's the magic the, of, of having a little bit of knowledge. So the question would be two. One, first and most important question is, how much money can I lose? For is that not the most important part of the equation? If you have a lifetime of savings and you put it at 100% risk 100% of the time, you could lose a significant portion just before retirement and that would be a bad thing. So how much could you lose is a very important factor. And then the second piece, which is the most important part, what is the guaranteed income? How much income per month can you count on and how long will that last? Because again, that's where you will find your quality of life maintenance. That's where day-to-day -day existence will be met and can be exceptionally fruitful if it's done well or if you don't have guarantees of income, you'll probably wake up every day, turn on the TV, and try to figure out where your day is going to land based on what's happening in the marketplace. And I can promise you that is not a real savory uh, existence for the rest of your life. My guest has been Chris Longworth. He is in Anacortes, Washington, and this is Retirement News Online. Thank you for watching.